So we've had this ongoing debate, right? Nature versus nurture. And it asks the question, are we pre-written beings? Are we predetermined beings? Do our genetics dictate our fate, right? Or are we made by our environment? Are we molded by our experience? Does language structure how we see the world? Does culture dictate who we become? Are we molded and shaped by the unfolding dynamics of interfacing with our environment? Again, this is sometimes known as epigenetics, how literally things that happen to you during your formative years can transform how your genetic structure is expressed. Experience can change biology, okay? But recently this debate has taken on a new heights because some of the new science, there's an article called The Social Life of Genes, which talked about this, which said that the idea of epigenetics actually goes much farther and that experience throughout our lives affects our genetic expression. And the, the, the doctor, the researcher quoted in the piece actually had the best way to describe it. He basically says that our cells that compose our bodies are a technology for turning experience into biology, that even the cognitive framing that we give to an experience can change the physical expression of our cellular biology so that consciousness itself, interpretation, storytelling, and framing, how we give meaning to our lives can actually have a real effect at our genetic level, at the way our genetic software expresses itself. You know? And we've always heard the bumper stickers that talk about the power of the mind or the power of positive thinking or the fact that we can shape our reality. But this notion not just affects genetic expression at one point in your life, but throughout your life means that you're constantly composing your own biological unfoldings. I designed, therefore I've become. I've said it before, I'll say it again, but we are as gods, my friends. And we might as well get good at it.